Do you have a tendency to turn your enemies into crispy fries? <laughs> Do you have oh, a shoot. salty? Hello, welcome to another Rec Room video. Today I'm going to be helping you on how you can make a great dorm in Rec Room. I know I've already made a video like this, but, you know, that was quite a bit ago, and, you know, I wanted to cover some new grounds, such as more advanced gizmos, as than just an opening door and a fireplace. Okay. So, for a bit of example, here's an old dorm that I made a while ago. So, there's lights on the miner hats, there's pickaxes, you got dripping water over there. You have a little portal that takes you to a whole nother place. You can mine here. It's pretty cool. All the ores are decorations, so it's really conserving ink. Here you got yet another portal. Oh yeah, I forgot. This isn't the finished version of the dorm. Well, I mean, it's still there, but... And this is a minecart that I made. Yeah, it's actually supposed to be animated, but, you know, it's not. So, this is the kind of dorm I'm going to be showing you how to make, except bigger and even better. Because, shoot. Because if you can notice, there is one pretty small room in here, but around, there's so much space to tinker around with. So, we're going to be doing exactly that. Um, so... Today, we're going to be making a different dorm than just a log cabin. Today, we're going to be doing something a little cooler, if you know what I mean. We are going to be making... <clears throat> we're going to be making a laboratory, or a laboratory, if you're... If you're a... I don't know. And right now, we are going to be starting with the walls. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen me making walls in this. One really quick tip trick is... Um, you don't want to make two walls for this little corner. You can just make one big block and then it covers both corners as well as the part with the cube on it. So it's, well, you know, much faster and easier. So if I redraw, I can just manipulate that. See, now, Boop. easy money. Now, a lot of people do not like this door. You want to know something? I'm one of them. So, another thing, you don't want to start a wall under the little gray thing unless you don't want the gray thing. You want to start a wall where the actual wall is and then make the gray thing yourself using this uh, thing right there, aka the painted wall. Closest one here would be that, so let's get that up and ready. And poof! You got yourself the door. Well, the meeting room area. I don't know why a lab would have a meeting room area, but, you know, it's something. Next, the floor. Now, a very simple way to make the floor is you could just pick your floor and you want to go to this corner right here. You want to bring it out, bring a little corner out until it's on the exact point of that other one. Use manipulate to pull it over here. Raise it up a tiny bit, then spread it out. If you wanted to cover the rug or not, that's all on you, but... For me, I'm, I'm going to be covering the rug because this is a lab. And now, for the walls. The walls, it's very simple. Just, just make a wall. And you can actually save a bunch of time if you spread that part of the wall all the way over here without having to make two pieces, as long as it's thin enough to make sure that you can still see the mirror. Unless you don't want the mirror. Then, like... Do what you want, fam. There's one little sweet spot where the mirror still works and both of the posters are covered, and that's where I'm going to want to be. Okay. Bring this wall up. As far as there we can. Okay. Sick. Bring that up there. 
going to grab a wedge. Want to make this as precise as you possibly can. Make sure it's impressive. Now, there's a few things you can do here. You can either um, literally cover up this whole area, or um, to make it easier, you can just block it. I'm going to just block it because covering up takes a hot minute, so... Okay. Now, for this wall, you want to be very, very, very careful not to get too close to that door, or else it may send you to the rec center. The worst thing about it is that the rec center doesn't give you a warning if you are sure that you want to leave, like most other games. So be very careful. Now, it's obviously going to be covering that. Now, if you don't want it to cover it, you can just poof. And poof. Now, what if we don't like this board, hmm? Well, grab the plastic material, that one right there, go to this black, the not as dark black, go to the edge, and make it pop till none of it's visible. Then, take a gray frame, steel, and just lightly make it a bit bigger. What you're going to want to be smart with is this mirror tool right here. And he has another fun fact. The rotate, one of my favorite tools. But you don't have to hold it down. If you just press the direction that you want to point that you want to point it, just kind of tap it. If it would let me. If you just tap it. If you just This usually always works. But if you just tap it, boom. It'll switch in that direction easy peasy. Now, I'm not sure if this works without snapping mode on, but I do have snap mode on. If you're a serious builder, um, you will switch between snapping and not snapping. A way you can do that is just looking at your maker pen, press snapping. I'm on snapping grid at the moment. Make sure you don't make everything in your room have the set environment. You want the floor to be decoration. You want all the decorations to obviously be decoration. If you have any cages, tables, chairs, um, cages or tables, you definitely want those to be environment. And f as for, uh, like, say I'm making a sink or kitchen appliances, you want to make that decoration. And another fun way you can do that is you can make a hot tub and then make the water in the hot tub decoration so you can sit in it. Another way to make a cool hot tub is to take a martini glass, size it up, and then what you want to do is just um, take the martini glass and make the water in it the hot tub water. Okay, so now we have this. Let's just finish up this. Okay, so a lot of people I've seen, they just cover up this whole window with just giant block, and that's not necessary. Make a cube that goes all the way out to here. Now stretch it so that it does that. Now you can, you can do one of two things once this has been placed. You can either, one, block the whole window, or two, place two parts over and over. I'm going to block the whole window because, you know, I don't, I don't think a secret lab would have so many, you know, windows, but okay. Now, just want to cover up the rest of the walls. Remember that corner trick. I'm also going to be teaching you a little bit of building hacks. It's what I like to call them. The hot tub thing is another so-called, so-called building hack. I'm saying building hack with so-called because they're not actually hacks. They're just really cool ways to improve your dorm using really simple techniques. If you're wondering why I'm choosing to do the dorm reviews today, it's because uh, Harry is actually doing a dorm review, so I am going to get ready. 
If anyone else is participating participating in that contest, please let me know. Who's doing the skit contest, by the way? Skits looks fun. I mean, I'm gonna participate it participate in it definitely, without a doubt. I love funny skits. Recreating them is even better. Once we have covered the whole walls, just gotta put that there, <coughs> manipulate. Okay, so once all of the walls are covered, you can get to the ceiling, which is exactly like it. Tip, don't always make the color of the ceiling the same as the color of the walls, just to give it a bit of more color. You know? Because color is individuality, and individuality is awesome, so. Now, there's a lot of things you can do here. Um, honestly, I don't care, so. One thing you can do is make a little curtain that closes in and out. I'm going to do that, but you can just cover the window if you don't want to actually be doing so I'm going to leave you guys for a second, and I'll tell you when all the walls are done. Whoa, 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 walls are done. I updated the desk as well, if you couldn't already tell. Okay, we're good now. So, now we're going to be making that little contraption up there. Okay. Now, there's a few ways you can do this. Animation gizmo. Piston. Or, if you're, you know... The basic, the most basic, would be with a rotator, or a potator, as gods would call it. Now, we're going to be doing the most simple one, aka the potator one. So, what you're going to want to do, is you want to take the curtain that you want. I'm going to be doing a red curtain, because red curtains are, like, really cool, so... Okay. So, we take that red curtain. What you want to do is take a rotator. Put it right on the corner, right there. Wait, nope. <laughs> I'm so sorry if I just messed you up there. You wanna do it right here. Okay, so now, a very simple way you can do this. Now, to turn this thing on and off, you can either use a button or a toggle button. Now, while the button system is much more difficult, the toggle button, um, you know, it's still, it's still just, I don't know, it's something about it. Now, I like to use the normal button system for reasons. I don't know what the reasons are, but they're reasons. Now, if you're wondering how this works, just type in your speed. Then when you turn it on, it turns. Now, by turning it back on, it soon will close. Now, it's not perfect, really. However, it is the easiest way you can make an actual curtain. Now that we have the rotator system out, oh shoot, didn't mean to do that. Let's do the piston system. This one is the most complicated. Don't know why I didn't go with the second most complicated, but okay. So you want to connect this to the end of that laser beam. So to do that, configure this and slowly turn down the max travel distance until it's exactly at the end. Perfect. Now, connect that baby there. Now you can take yourself gadgets, other chips, state one. Two states, connect the state machine to these two states. You know you did it right if this happened. Now what you want to do is take a button. I don't care what I don't I don't care what color it is as long as it's a button. You want to wire that red arrow to enable. And now, like I said in the strobe light video, make one of these value one, one of these value zero. So now when you turn this, it emits a signal right there. Neat. Okay. Now that signal is going to be connecting to this. Now, tell me, how do we bring it back? So, let's test it. 
Okay, a little slow. Let's, let's not do that. Um, let's just, uh, let's go 50. That's 50? That's literally 50? You gotta be kidding me. Okay, let's, let's do 100. No, not 10, 100. Okay. Now that's what I'm talking about. Now, what does it do when it reaches the end of the laser? Good question. I don't know. So I'm very confused. Uh, I'll be right back. It's been a long time. I have brain damage. But, I got it. I'll be right back. Ha! I did it! I did it. Finally. Um, so what I did was, well, I used the exact same system, but as many of you don't really know, and I will demonstrate with a rotator, I turned this on, and I set the speed to 10. Well, no, 100. So it's spinning clockwise with the speed of 100. Now, if I make it negative 100, it spins counterclockwise at the speed of 100 with the exact same thing going on here. So, if I said negative 25, it goes back at the speed of 25. 25, forward at the speed of 25. So, after a long time of me being idiotic, I got the, I got the curtain working. I hope many of you can take away from this and please learn. Because I, I spent way too much time on this. You have no idea. And it really disappoints me that it took so long. What if I made the curtain spread out? I am severely wasting my time. But hey, I did it. Now, it's not what I had in mind, and I'm sure it's not what any of us had in mind. And screw it, I'll fix it. So what I did here is I did the exact same thing that I did with the one curtain, except I attached that little pin to two pistons. Oh yeah, max travel distance is a little too long. Still too far. So the tip Reaches that point, apparently. So that's not good. It's no good at all. Um. Ha ha ha. Ugh, come on. I guess, sort of, maybe if I... Okay, 1.8 on both. Yeah, that's it, guys. 1.8. That's where the money is. Ah! Uh! 1.9. 1.9. Yes. Yes, come on. Yes, come on. What the... What? It was... What the... What the... What the... Maybe if I did that. One of them 1.9, one of them 2. How about we try that? Yeah. How about we do that? Exactly 2 on both the what? Everybody, we will be absolutely okay. I assure you that this gizmo... Well, that's what we're going to be dealing with now. I don't, I don't even care anymore. You know, that's, that's, that's just, let me show you how this works. Okay. State 2 has 100. State 1 has negative 100. It is, 
enabled by the two activate keys, but you can also just slide the entrance to enable. You don't need to connect them to the activate keys. And then you make the value go to both the speed, this, and that. So simple, easy, works, curtains. I wasted way too much time on that. Let's seriously just get back to the door. Whee! I installed the curtains button. It's a button. Let's make that whatever the I want it to be. So, okay. Well, that took way too long just for some curtains, but I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, hey, you guys only saw like a few, like probably a minute actually. But yeah. Curtains. Zoom, zoom, zippity's out. And here's a little tip. If you want to save ink, as you can see, I'm at 3.17 ink. If you take a whole set of gizmos, as long as you're not talking about like pistons or rotators or something like that, if you take a whole set of gizmos, just like this, you can create a circuit board out of it. Now it has the exact same functions, however, we saved ink. I think. See, look, the curtains do the exact same thing, but all of it's packed together. It saves room, and sometimes it saves ink, depending on how long you're... It doesn't matter. So, we're going to be making our room two stories. Pretty sure I've already told you, you know, how to make that work. Okay. So there's a few things you can do this. Okay, so, first off, how do you get there? There's so many ways we can do this. You can take an elevator, ladder stairs, teleporter, heck, I even made a climbable rope once. We're going to be getting a little creative. So, this, usually I would turn this into stairs, cover some stairs over that, but then you'd walk right into them. So, instead, I'm going to cover up the ladder entirely. Sorry, Mr. Ladder, you just, I don't like you. So, Now you just wanna poof, and you got that over with. Get it? <clears throat> you literally got it over with. Just, just don't, don't. Okay. So now there's no way upstairs yet. And another thing you can decide is if you want to keep this fella. I'm gonna keep him for lab experiments. So let's cage him up. Ah, I'll cut that out. Yeah, that's what you get, you chunky piece of rubber. You are stuck in there for all of eternity. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm gonna poke you to death. Oh, yeah, sorry, I'm still recording. So, to make a way up, first we're not, we need, we need to make a hole. Now, I don't care where you put this hole, as long as it's a hole, holes are holes. So, I am going to be making something, you know, a little secretive. If you know what I mean. So, we're going to plop down the hole right over here. Also, um, wait. No, not yet. Okay, so, what I'm going to be doing is going to be pretty interesting. Now, what's a piece of lab equipment that everyone uses? Beakers. Now, first we're gonna be just showing you really quickly how to make a beaker. Now, there's a few ways you can go around doing this. You can make a hollow one, which is kind of difficult, or you can just make a really simple one. However, another way you can go around doing this is by going into weapons, and then just finding like a shield potion. But the problem with potions is that if you turn off is breakable, grabbable, and you try to make it climbable, sometimes you can't climb it. See? Now it's just a blob. So you're going to want to make something of your own. Let's go with a beaker. Pretty simple to make. Uniform shapes. Now, if you want to make a perfect circle, or a perfect triangle, or perfect wedge, or a perfect cylinder, or a perfect tube, or a... You get the point, so... 
Uniform Shapes allows you to do this thing, and it's perfect if you're making lightsabers, because you can make, like, a nice cylinder, which works great. So let's... shoot, wrong one. Let's make a pyramid about the size of a good beaker. Let's take a cylinder about the size of a good beaker tube. We want to stick that where it can go. Now is when I turn off snapping so that it's much cleaner. My hand is shaking right now, so it's always going to be pretty hard. A lot of people can relate. Hello. If you ever mess up, you can just undo. Perfect! Now, once I, once again, we're just, like, winging this, so I'm not trying very hard. I'm just really trying to, you know, just bring you guys something that I think you would enjoy. So, okay. Now you put on that little cap. Now, if you want to make it easier, you can just clone this. Another funny trick, if you press, if you just press the tube, it clones it so that it's right on top of the other one. Really cool to use. So you shrink that down. You scale it up. And then you recolor it. And then poof, you got yourself an old, not really old-fashioned beaker. Now, we're going to be uh, showing you something a little interesting. We're going to put this over here. Let's grab that material. And then this. Oh, yeah, sorry, I have uniform on, too. Okay. If I wrap this around... All right, we have a little, little knob there. Now, we are going to take this rope... We're just going to make a rope sort of leading up. Let's make sure it goes up pretty far. It's always fun to mess around with. Now, clone it so that it's a little thicker. Great. Now, make an animation. Connect the ring to this. Edit it. The one little animate you want it to be is just going up. And for me, I'm going to make it kind of turn to the right a bit. Poof, 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 poof. Now, once you've done that, select this, ping pong. Stop at, start. My bad. Now, edit this and bring it back to the first frame. Make this environment climbable. I want to create yourself a trigger volume. Connect the red arrow, aka when entering zone, to this. Take yourself a clamp. Connect the base to this baby right there. Connect that. Okay. Now all we gotta do is freeze this and freeze the animation gizmo and freeze this and freeze this. Okay. Now, let me show you what we have just created. Ain't that awesome? And if you wait, comes back down. Pretty fun to mess around with. It's, 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 I prefer it over an elevator. It's just a potion on a rope, but it's something. And I'm probably going to be moving the curtains button. In fact, I'm going to do that right now. Give me your curtains button. Oh, shoot. Yeah, that'll happen too. Okay. All right. Now, here we go. Upstairs. 
So, for the first step, I'm gonna edit this. Poof. Poof. Mm. Yep, it's safe. Ooh, no, a little ladder. It's probably gonna end my whole career. Nah, fam, psych. <clears throat> Please. Excuse me. Oh, God. So here I'm gonna make a giant animal cage. As in, like, not a normal animal. Just something... I have the hiccups. Please ex excuse me. Um, so that is going to, um, that is going to have a little animal in, animal in it, and it's going to be, like, one of the kinds you experiment with, you know what I mean? I'm trying not to hiccup as much, so. I'm not the kind of person that actually makes noises when they hiccup, so it's not going to be a big interruption, it's just going to be sl slight pauses. Okay, so we can, we can cover up this ladder. Problem with that is, curtains blink like that. Now, if you want to avoid this, you c you can really just keep this. Now, in the last room that I did, I didn't. So, we are just going to be doing this. Replace this with a different material. Make it big. And... Poof! You got a whole table of stuff, and then back there we're just gonna have like a little thing, and then it'll be pretty fun, and I think it'll be cool. So, oh god, um, let's close the curtains. And remember, always save your room. You want to save it a bunch of times, just to make sure that you don't slip up. Because it can really suck when all of your prog progress is erased. Now as for this, it's just a win window. I'm going to keep it. As for this, it's then again just a window, so I can keep it. But if you don't want to, a few tricks you can do are this. And then using the same trick I used with the bed frame, just recreate all that into a completely different material. It's pretty easy. I think it's interesting. So, you can do that. Alright. So, I think we got a pretty good layout going on. Now, let's close damn curtains. Sweet. Put this on the wall. Poof. Sweet. And now, we're going to make some lab gear stuff. First, we are going to be make, we're going to be putting a creature in there. Now, I already have a creature that I'm going to be using. I would like you guys to meet. This is um well, I know that this one is indeed Thor. That's, these are what I call jewel griffins. Um, they're just griffins made out of jewels. This is one of my first ever um, ones that I made. Okay, so this, his name is Sky. He's pretty fun, he's pretty nice, I like him. He's guys and guys. Ignore my brother's small comments, it's, it's okay. So once again, Sky is indeed a guy, so... We're going to be putting Sky in a little cage, and we're going to animate him using the animation gizmo for those who aren't very, you know, familiar with it. And there's, of course, going to be tiny little trick-ups like that, but that's okay. So, just put those on the floor, and... Now, I know that a griffin wouldn't necessarily walk like a dog like this, but it still works. Drop a like if you want me to post this uh, little gri griffin guy on the inventions. I think he's kind of cute. Pro tip, best material for sand is not yellow. 
The best material is that right there. Tan. Yeah, that looks a lot like sand. Unlike all, all the other sands. Like, seriously, that does not look like sand. Yellow sand is not a thing. It's tan sand. Okay, so now we're going to be animating, uh, animating him. We're going to make him probably do like a little trick. So, animation gizmo. Connect that. 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 And connect that. Okay, we're done. Now, we just gotta animate him doing a little jump. Now, occasionally, there will be very big problems with doing this, such as, like, if I turn it a little bit to the right, it animates it doing, like, something that looks like it's breaking breaking its neck. Now, that's normal. Just turn on this little earth thing right there, and it should be fixed. If that's not fixing it, then all you have to do is just leave the game. That's the only thing that can really help that issue if the world space one isn't. A little out of my cam camera reach. What the? Okay. No, don't. I'm having technical issues, but that's okay. I'll just, um, grab a new animation gizmo. So, we're going to want these two parts of his body to go up. We want his wings like that. Next frame, we're going to make him go up as long as his wings <clears throat> now another way to fix this is to just make each frame very barely moving make them move little to none in each frame Now we're going to make him take off. Of course, he's not going to fly around the room. But he's just going to fly in a one fresh little circle. If you want to deselect, just drop your maker pen and get back in the editor. And for those of you who aren't aware what a griffin is, it's the mix of a lion and an eagle. We keep it there. And every once in a while, you're going to want to make those little suckers flap.
Then lastly, for a tiny little cute move, we're gonna make him just... Just kind of twist its head. Now, let's see. What does this look like? Is it cute? Um, okay, definitely be careful about that. So, um, to make him do his trick, you just chuck this thing at him and he just, you know, he does his thing. He's happy. He's, he's glitching, you know, having fun. You know, that's just the way that it's going to be because, I mean, Sky, you're still a good boy. Okay. So, now I am actually going to leave the rest of this to you guys for a few tips make your stuff decoration create circuit boards be creative and just put whatever you can in as you want I'm going to leave all the rest of the creation to you and you alone because you deserve to have a unique dorm I'm going to be actually put putting this dorm on the invention store. If you find, want to find it, look up the words ham. H-A-M, and then look up 126. This dorm is going to be called ham 126 if you want to bring it to your own dorm and finish it for me. In fact, comment down below. I want you to finish this dorm for me, and I want you to show me it. I want to see what you did with this dorm, and I want to see your wonderful creativity. Now, Thanks for sticking around. I'm Bagel about YT, and stay tuned for more videos.